Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 5. Last time, we met Duo, who apparently works for the uh, TV station, and he or she said that uh, Rebecca would be a good candidate for the TV show, so she invited us to come to the TV station. We get here, and we're kind of trapped in this, um, like, awful, awful mini-game that they call it. I wouldn't really say it's a mini-game, though. It's more like a torture device. Uh, yeah. Probably cameras all over us. Yeah, where is our TV show? I want to be famous. Oh, is that right? Oh, lovely. It's like Celebrity Deathmatch, but more death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the climax? What would that be? Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Yikes! Boss time! Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. Uh, the... Igoronak? I don't know. Um, nothing really good to steal. There's two of them, though. And honestly, the best way to deal with these guys is just physical hits. So, yeah, just go all out against them. You'll be fine. Let's see, for Greg... I'm gonna put him over here and shoot him because the hex that you actually want to be in... Oh, hell. The hex that you want to be in for the treasure is, um, the wind hex. Yeah, go ahead and attack. I was thinking maybe I'll quicken this hex, but... Yeah, actually, I probably will. I'll probably move Rebecca over there, and then I'll quicken that hex, and then I'll throw somebody over in the, um, wind hex. That actually sounds like a pretty good plan, now that I think about it. Ooh, nice! We have a second force level, so I can uh, force a critical hit. That'd be really good, too. Oh, was that a counterattack? I'm assuming that was a counterattack. Do you have any buffs? No, just fragile and slow down. Okay, so just keep on going against this guy. There we go. Let me teach you a thing or two. Oh, wow. We're really making short work of these people with just physical hits. It's kind of uh, crazy. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, so boss B. Let's see. So, let's go ahead and kill him. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's put her... Uh, well, I can't really get an attack in, and Greg really needs some defense, so... Uh, let's try out the Corona Fall. Why not? Give it a shot. We've never seen that one before. It was like a nuclear bomb, and it barely dealt any more damage than uh, just a regular hit. So I'll stick Greg over here. Um, I guess he could blast from over here. It's something to do, although it deals half damage. Can we just kill him? Will a heavy crush kill him? No. Wow, a physical hit deals more damage than a heavy crush. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have used Sonic Vision, and then that would have made a, a, a guaranteed critical hit with Dean, and it would also have been a double critical hit uh, because of his special ability, but, eh, I'll kill him, you know, one turn later. It's not that big of a deal. There's, like, shards and stuff floating in the air in this Coliseum. Ooh, hey, hey, get a reflex apple. Nice! Ooh, and level ups all the way around. Hey, hey! So, can we be on the TV now? Can we be famous? Do I get my 15 minutes? Or are we going to be famous for doing nothing like Kim Kardashian? No. 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 What's the special performance? What are you talking about? Seriously, a commercial break? Okay. Whatever. Ugh. This reminds me of that movie. That, that It was an 80s movie, The Running Man. Um, it was an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. And it was... Whenever I watched it, whenever I was like five, I thought it was pretty cool, but I liked Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know? I was a kid, what do you want from me? I love how, you know, ugh, it doesn't make any sense, it doesn't make any sense! Okay, so you put us into a show called Brutal Deathmatch. You put us against two bosses, 
You put us into these god-awful timed mini-games, and you trap us here, and then, instead of us killing you, we're just like, hey, what's going on? What do you want from us? It's like, like, seriously? Like, what the hell? We should be like, fuck you. Let's get the hell on out of here. Ugh. But, no. No. Our heroes can't possibly say that. They'll say, what can we do to make your TV show even better? You know, it's like... <laughs> it's so stupid. Ugh. Well, if we didn't fight, we would have died. So, yeah, we really just kind of had to fight. She's like, you know, I didn't make you fight. I only put you up against, you know, death itself. Oh, is that right? You're just a hypocrite. That's just lovely. Oh, and who are you? Is this like jiggle physics in its infancy? Her boobs were moving really strangely there, I've got to say. Yeah. Um, probably. I would say so. Okay, so Persephone. Well, she's color-coordinated. That's something. We saw her in one of those, like, flashbacks back when she was talking to uh, Faradun and Volsung, I believe. Oh, really? Huh. So, it's kind of like in ancient Rome with bread and circuses, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. The, the gladiators normally lost in ancient Rome as well, so... <laughs> you know, you pit a, uh, a man with, like, what, a wooden stick or something against a, hun a hungry grizzly bear or a lion or a tiger or something. The man does not stand a chance. No kidding. Yeah, you know, what if the shoe's on the other foot? I mean, come on now. Really? A human came up with this idea? And what kind of asshole human would this be? Yeah, I know. Seriously. Yeah, well, there's horrible humans in this world and in that world. Oh, Gambit? Is that you? No, just his knockoff Nightburn. Nightwolf? No, no, Nightburn. Yeah, we were more than misled here. You know, it's... <laughs> and I, the, oh my god. So Nightburn comes up with this show. Obviously countless untold amounts of humans have died already on this show and Dean's like you don't have to apologize you did nothing wrong it's perfectly fine you can just keep on killing people you can kill all of us because you're Nightburn and I'm your greatest fan I could smack Dean wait people actually volunteer for this crap seriously who the hell would volunteer to go up against monsters like this um, that's what they just said. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. And how is that, Nightburn? Seriously? So, pitting humans against monsters is in order to bring out a brighter future? That doesn't really make any sense. But then again, nothing in this entire area makes any sense. And why are these people here anyway? Like, do they all work for the TV studio? Are they just hanging around here? Like, what the hell? And why is Persephone just like a robot? Well, I really shouldn't talk about the way that people are dressed considering Duo standing right in front of us, but eh, I'll leave that one alone for right now. So now, apparently, Rebecca wants to help them get better ratings by showing off her acrobatic shooting. She's like, again, you know, what could I possibly do to make your show even better? Thank you so much for trying to kill me. Let me go and do a circus performance. Yeah. Yeah, Persephone, how do you know Avril? Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what's going on there. Oh, case of mistaken identity, I guess. Yeah, you with the red hair. 
go get us some good ratings. And Rebecca's like, sure, I'll do it. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I really do hate to rag on these games like I do, but, like, it's crap like this that, like, if somebody put me up to try to kill me, not once, not two times, but almost three times now, and then they were like, oh, well, we didn't kill you, so, you know, go put on a little circus act. I'm like, fuck you. Like, what the hell? Ugh. And then, to top it all off, they insult her act. <laughs> but I've got to say, you know, Rebecca deserves it. Rebecca deserves it being stupid. Instead of, you know, firing at the can, Rebecca, you should have been firing at both of those two. Actually, Nightbird included. Just kill them all. Come on, Rebecca. Come on now. How hard is this? Put them all out of their misery, and hey, the game will be over even sooner. Sounds good to me. Yeah. She's all depressed now. You insulted her shooting. She's not depressed that, you know, you tried to kill her. She's depressed that you insulted her shooting. Priorities, Rebecca. Priorities. She's even crying! She <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Oh, well, how are you going to help us fill this hole in the program? Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, Dean, come help us make this show even better and fight me in a duel. Sure, let's do this. Anything to increase your readings. You know, killing humans, uh, pitting people up, up against uh, monsters just for the enjoyment of Veroni. Sure, why not? Let's do this. Sounds like a great plan. My God. Um, Disenchanted is kind of an understatement, I've got to say. Okay. I'll show you the power of anger in boss time against Nightburn himself. So let's do this. Oh, he's just guarding. Uh, I guess he is kind of going easy on me. Well, let's go ahead and attack him, see what's going on here. Oh, no effect? Seriously? Hmm. Must have missed. Serious yet? How does this Holy crap! Yeah. You, you sure are tough. Don't let it get you down. Just a little excitement for the viewers at home. Can anyone outclass me here? That's a forced event battle where you have to lose. Because we know how much we love those. Oh, well, can you make us a golem hunter? That would really be nice to not have to go through, you know, 13 tasks and 66 achievements and everything else. Um, if, you know... Oh, a reward! Great! Make us a golem hunter! That sounds good to me. Um, a golem hunter's license would be great. Dang you moron! How could you not think of anything off the top of your head? Like, oh my god, we can get anything that we want. Anything! The golem hunter's license, kicking all the Veroni out of all the towns, you know, not having them, you know, hang people for minor infractions would be lovely. Anything we want! But Dean can't think of anything at all. Yeah. I could strangle him. He's so damn stupid. Well, it's a sad day. Yeah, we're never going to be famous now. And they made fun of your shooting. Ugh. I know, Rebecca, it was horrible. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I love how Greg now is just saying there was something fishy about him. Not that he's a cold-blooded, calculating killer. No. 
It's just that he there's something fishy. So rather than becoming a golem hunter and getting as many train tickets as you possibly want, we'll just ask for one pair of train tickets. Sounds like a great plan. Oh, well, who are you? Oh, is this those kids from, uh, yeah, Mythysmire? Yeah, well, what's going on? Did you come into the town to get a better haircut? Buy some nicer clothes? No, they came to see your shooting. Okay, sure. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Pastel, the girl who had the portrait, has now uh, fallen ill. And apparently, having Rebecca shoot a can will make her all better. They didn't come to town, you know, to get any medicine or to fetch a doctor or anything. No! Acrobatic shooting! That's the cure! Okay, yeah. Time to head on off to uh, Mythy's Mire to save Pastel. We're not really doctors, though, but... Eh, we'll see what we can do. But uh, first things first, I want to head out this door because there is a uh, cameo appearance, again, of Jane and Magdalene, her butler, from Wild Arms uh, Alter Code F. They're right over here, so I just want to talk to them and see what's going on. Oh, what blue-haired drifter? Oh, really? Hmm. Oh, is that right? Huh, I wonder who he's talking about. Oh. Okay. Eh, maybe. We'll see. I kind of doubt it, though. Jane seems to be hell-bent on revenge. The only person that I think that she may be talking about is this guy. Who looks kind of like Ashley, I must say. Huh. But he's not saying anything about, um, Jane, so I don't know. But anyway, we're going to move on to Mythy's Mire and see if we can't, you know, shoot some cans and save Pastel next time. And let's play Wild Arms 5. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.